हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट के सेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एग्जाम विच इज़ गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑन फिफ्टीन अप्रैल दैन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन अप्रैल ऑनवर्ड्स फॉर डिफरेंट सो फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू नो इफ यू आर अटेंडिंग इट वॉट इज द ड्रेस कोड सो यू शुड नॉट बी वियरिंग एनी क्लोथ्स विथ लार्ज बटन सो इट इज़ एडवाइजेबल दैट डोंट वियर द ड्रेसेस विच हैव वेरी लार्ज बटन बिकॉज दे मे थिंक दैट देर मे बी माइक्रोफोन और एनी अदर थिंग देन डोंट वियर एनी पेंडेंट्स राइट ज्वेलरी और एनी काइंड राइट डोंट वियर कैप्स राइट ऑन योर हेड डोंट वियर थिक सोल्स राइट ऑन योर शूज एंड अदर सो देस आर द गाइडलाइंस विच हैव बीन मैंशन बाई के ये एज पर द ड्रेस कोड गाइडलाइंस राइट एंड अदर थिंग इज दैट यू शूड एवॉइड वियरिंग नो स्पिनस एंड चेन्स एंड नेकलेस राइट on the upper part of the body so that is also advised and you have to, it is also advised that you wear a light colored clothes with less pocket so these are the guidelines from the ke side now ke set 2025 uh, exams are for different subjects so if you are looking for engineering and the technology courses then your streams or subjects will be pcm which is physics chemistry and mathematics If you are interested in farm science courses, which are basically B.Sc. Agriculture, Sericulture, and Horticulture, right? For those students, they will have to appear in Physics, Chemistry, Maths, and or combination of Biology, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, and Maths. So those are the combinations. If you are interested in veterinary sciences, animal husbandry, naturopathy, yoga, and the B.Sc. Nursing courses, for such students, you should be appearing for P.C.B. which is biology group and if the students are interested in b pharma second year uh, b pharma pharma d courses then the eligibility is based on either of pcb or pcm not talking about the passing marks required in case it right so first i will start with the hornado uh, you know gadinadu students so there is a separate quota in case it for these uh, students who belongs who belongs to gadinadu kannadiga region or where mother tongue is kannada or tullu or kodava or beeri so if your mother tongue is in this language and you reside in kannada speaking areas of south solapur or akalot or jat or gadinglas taluks of maharashtra or kasargod or hosadurg or maneshwara taluks of kerala so those students are eligible to get the hornadu gadinadu kannadiga status so that is lot of students don't know so if you are qualifying qualifying for this category and you are eligible for that quota then you will have to also pass the kannada language test and the kannada language test will cover the questions for class 4 level right so class 4 level whatever you studied in kannada kannada language that will be asked and the total marks for kannada language test is 50 and you should get at least 12 marks right if you are not getting 12 marks out of 50 you will not be qualifying or passing the kannada language test and you will not be eligible for the quota system of this category now i am going to talk about the other categories or the other students so kset 2025 passing marks criteria if you see just passing marks criteria there is no minimum marks required in kset to be called as passed everybody who writes the exam is considered as passed but if you see how the ranks are created ranks is dependent on two exam scores which is kset 50% marks is counted from kset exam and 20, and 50% of the marks are counted from your puc 12th board marks so that means if you want to get a good rank you should score good marks in kset exam also in your pcm of board exams those students will get the best ranks now so there is no pass marks but there is definitely a good score right which you should get to get a seat which is on the top 25 30000 ranks where right where you can take the benefit of the low fees so if you want to get branches like csc ece aiml and others right computer or electronics branches then you should score minimum try to score minimum 60 plus marks out of 180 right at least 20 20 marks in each subjects of maths physics and chemistry then you are getting 60 plus marks then only you should take the admission through kset process but if you are getting lesser marks then you should definitely 
look for admission through comet k because the number of students who attend comet k are quite less because the comet k fees is around 3 lakhs and above so that's a reason you know you can get a good seat in through comet k if your k set score is less than 60 why to take admission through k set exam for a lower fees but your branch will not be good as well as the college will not be good so try to get minimum 60 in k set exam out of 180 to get a uh, good score and best of luck to all of you students thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get all important information about the KSET exam or the CET exam of Karnataka take care bye